Yo, what is up, Teletubbies? Today we're going to combine two tow lines. It works with two scrap hooks as well. Uh, it also should work with two axle greases because we're not utilizing any of the specific accessories. So without further ado, let's get on with the show, okay? So cool. So yeah, welcome back and welcome front, especially to any new members watching. Um, I call you a member because uh, we don't really have channel membership. So if you like to describe, sub describe, if you like to subscribe and watch, I don't know. I just kind of consider you a member. Uh, the YouTube analytics tell me that 75% of all viewers for every video is somebody brand new. So yeah, I just wanted to say welcome, welcome. Yeah, especially if this is yeah your first time, and if this is not your first time, well, welcome back and welcome front. Yes, 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 yes. We're gonna do some really cool things with the torso. You know, a lot of times I just have this kind of hanging and doing nothing, but in this one, because of the unique uh, slot and tab configuration, uh, we can actually merge these things and he can become a really cool backpack. And so first we start off with toe lines torso like this, and we just open up the back. And the second toe line is configured in a, like, you, you see how the, this was fully flipped down. I don't want to do it all the way because I don't know. If this was flipped down like this, you would see that this is just how the torso is made. So rather than do that, you just flip the head up and then you um, close these tabs in and then you flip the waist around like that. Okay. But, um, and then we're going to take the little tabs on the legs and then we're going to slot them into the back and that's going to be the backpack. And that's uber duper cool, right? I think so. I think that's very, very nice. Um, but I was going to say, as I put this stuff together, um, oh, and I already have one... Okay, <laughs> I already have one leg configured, uh, so it'll help me as a stencil. Oh, fair warning, this build, and I don't know if it's because Toline is, is like the third version of this particular mold. Um, there's a lot of, piece of pieces of paper that I'm gonna have to use, and if you're unfamiliar with what I'm, what I'm talking about, is sometimes when the, the post, the peg and the port are loose, and then like, like for example, um, like this, you see, you, you see how that is just super duper loose? Yeah, like this one I knew, like I have to use a piece of paper to basically tighten up the, the fit, the tolerances and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, not exactly sure why it's like that. It could be that these are from different factories and I just miss and matched. Yeah, see, this one fits well. This one is tight, meaning that these two are the same from the same factory and, and this one is not. And um, that's fine. You know what, maybe I should just keep use this one then. Um, oh no, no, it's the left arm or the, the right arm that's just loose. That's really weird, isn't it? The right arm fits fine, but the left arm is very loose, but uh, say la vie, say la vie. Um, all right, as I start assembling this guy, dude, have you guys seen um, the, the little short that I put out? of um, reactivated Optimus Prime. Dude, get the cup out of here, dude. That fool looks dope, dude. Like I woke up and I saw him on Twitter and I was just like, wait a minute, what Prime is that? And I, I was bugging out. And then I saw the description and it says reactivated Optimus Prime. Then I followed the the blog link of the person who was, uh, I don't remember their name off the top of my head right now, um, but it's on the YouTube short, and I give them full credit, of course, because they posted it. You know, why wouldn't I give them full credit? Um, by the way, these are spurs. Isn't that cool? Yeah, and the first person that I saw use the wheels like this in the back of spurs was um, um, my man Pre Pre Pisson, Master Builder. But uh, yeah, anyway. So yeah, dude, reactivated Prime looks amazeballs. Amazeballs. Um, like... Dude, looks so good, and he has all the necessary ports that 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 will allow me to adorn him with various parts. He has like ports on the back, on the legs, on the side, and so yeah, I'm gonna have a ton of fun when he gets released. Um, the person said that it's gonna be released like mid October or something like that, and um, yeah. And for those of you, I mentioned it before, like I worked on Reactivated, uh, but it was called Rise at the time. Um, due to NDA, which is uh, something called a non-disclosure agreement, I can't really divulge um, divulge exactly what I did and my contribution to the project and, and stuff like that. I just can't talk about any of that. But for those of you who know me in a more personal way, you you know what I did. You know you know you know um, what I did on that project. But um, but yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. So, so these are the legs. You can see that it was just one shin of the tow line. We have the exhaust in here. We have the spur, and then we have the arm plugged in at the little top. And then this part is going to plug into the leg like that. And then after we do that, see that little hole? That's going to tab in. That's going to connect to that little tab there. It's not going to be perfectly secure, but um, it's going to be all right. Yeah. Um, 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 so we get that little piece of paper in there, Jer. Then we can be all debonair and care like the Care Bears. Okay, so we have that in there. And then we just kind of fold the arm back a little bit until, oops, sorry, until you can slot that in. Then I feel like you could bend the arm back. Maybe you can't. I, th I thought I had it so that the arm could bend back a little bit more. Like I had, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I think I did this. And actually, when you look at it from the front, it makes the it makes the thighs look a little bit thicker. You see that this versus that, and I think that's kind of cool. It's a little of a uh, what is it, trick of an eye illusion, but um, I think that's fine. And so yeah, that's that's the first leg. And um, do you know it's a trip? So um, sometimes I'll just go on the internet and then I'll look up like um, like different fan modes. I mean, a lot of times I don't, but sometimes I'll just see what other people are building, and. Um, I mean, it, it shouldn't bother me necessarily, but I, I will say that this bothers me uh, because I'm such a huge fan of their work uh, of uh, pre pre Pisan and Robozy. Dude, I'll see people copy their stuff, especially on like Reddit. And, uh, and I'm sure these are just kids, dude. And they'll just post it and they'll just take full credit for it. And then people will ask them like, dude, did you build this? Like, did you make this? And they just won't respond, you know? I, I don't get it. I, I, I just don't get it. Like, well, why are you stealing their clout? If, if you like rebuilt like somebody's build and, and maybe it especially is annoying to me because um, like I'm kind of in the same space. Like sometimes people will take my stuff and they won't say anything or they like they just don't want to give credit to the person who 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 originally like made it, you know, and um, I just I mean, I don't think it diminishes like who you are or whatever. And, and, and maybe they want to take credit for it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they do want to take credit for that. And it's like, doesn't it feel disingenuous, though? Like, people are giving you props for, like, oh, great design. I can't believe you engineered it that way, and you and you didn't. Like, doesn't, doesn't that feel disingenuous? Like, um... Hold up. Can't quite get it to where I want it, but anyway. This is what it's looking like right there, and I love those thick thighs. Um, but yeah. But I'm like, yeah, doesn't that feel, like, disingenuous? Like, doesn't that just feel, like, weird? And because, like, if I post anybody else's stuff and somebody's like, dude, that looks awesome, I'll be quick to say, like, yeah, dude, that artist did an amazing job. Um, yeah, and I, I only just, like, recreated it, you know? It's just like any cooking show. If somebody's like, wow, your di dish tastes delicious, I'll be like, awesome. Uh, I didn't make it, by the way. These are not, this is not my recipe. Uh, by the way, this is the shin, right? Then we have a little piece of paper in there. Um... And there we go, right? And then, then we have the then we have the little um, what is it? The shin guard over here. Speaking of shins, dude, y'all watch Ahsoka? There's that apprentice of um, I mean, they they show this character really early on, so I'm not I don't think I'm really spoiling anything. But her name is like Shin Hati or something like that. that was, I thought she was a really cool character, very very like psychotic cold-blooded and one of the things is like when you when you watch um she's supposed to be like a padawan of, of one of the bad guys so to speak and uh what i notice is dude they never allow her to blink she never blinks whenever she's on when she has screen time so that character just feels so like cold-blooded and like calculated and um just just psychotic kind of um and i was like that's really cool i love those little like subtle things that they add and uh, yeah, and she's like, she has a red lightsaber and stuff. Shin Hati or something. Yeah, I thought it was a cool character. But I did like the, the not the main bad guy, but the Balin score or something. But that actor passed away. But um, but yeah, that dude was cool. That dude was super cool. Yeah, rest in peace, dude. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, again, I was saying it is a bit of annoying when I see just people take credit for it. And honestly, I just want to jump in those threads and be like, hey, man, you didn't make this. That's Robozies or that's pre pre Pisans or that's whoever else is but i'm like whatever dude i'm just gonna let them enjoy their their party 
And um, I just feel like it's so weird just taking fake credit like, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much when they are not the creator of that build. Like, but, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I just see enough of it. So I guess, I guess people just like doing that or, or, or they don't have the creativity to do it themselves. And that's okay. That's okay. Because, like, I mean, same for me, you know, like, all of my designs, like, in terms of my Genesis, I was actually talking to pre pre on, and I told him, I was like, because he was like, hey, man, he's like, dude, your builds are good, too. And I was like, dude, first of all, for you to even say that to me is a huge, huge honor. Uh, and, and, and actually for, and told him, like, dude, the fact that you reply to me at all, <laughs> I was like, that's a huge honor, man. Um, and I was like, and two, the fact that you gave me props on my build is is, is another big honor. And um, wait a minute, maybe I didn't need a piece of paper for this one because I don't want to artificially. Yeah, you know what, this one, it's still a little bit loose, but I can do without that piece of paper. Um, but yeah, I was like, wow, the fact that you even acknowledge my bills, like notice me senpai stuff, you know, I'm just like, wow. I was like, thanks so much, man. And, uh, and I told him, I was like, dude, a lot of my stuff, I was like, I, I learned from rebuilding yours, your stuff and like RoboZ stuff. And I was like, so if you see anything in my design that, that like looks like yours, I was like, I'm not, I'm not trying to like copy or nothing. I was like, it's, it's just that that's where I learned from that. He's like, nah, that's cool, man. And like, dude, that, that, that dude's tight, dude. RoboZ don't talk to me. I mean, he, he's replied to me once. <laughs> And uh, after he bought axle grease, and I was like, I can't wait to see what you build. And he was like, Hey, homie, don't set the expectation so high. <laughs> Basically, he said, Don't set the bar so high. And uh, I was cracking up. And then the next day, he puts out that tarn axle grease build. I was like, Get the cup out of here. That's so cool, dude. My man is way too humble, dude. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure how old uh, Pre Pre Pisson is. Um, I feel like my guess is he's in his 30s, maybe. But RoboZ, I'm pretty sure, is older because I see his other posts and I'm like, all right, man, you look like you're posting old man stuff. <laughs> Whereas pre is on his, is posting some video game stuff. Um, <laughs> but yeah, RoboZ stuff, I'm like, all right, man, I feel like you're a little old. But uh, And I say that because I, I recognize what old men post because I'm an old man. <laughs> and and uh, there we go, my friends. There we go, my friends. Sorry with all that jibber jabber, but uh, yeah, you know what? As a, I, I like to consider myself an artist, uh, not necessarily just doing this, but just I don't know. I do other artistic things too, but um, yeah, I would say that if you borrow people's work, give them credit for it. I think that's the best thing that you can do. You know, showing that artist some love, and I don't think it takes anything away from you. It just shows that you're an aspiring artist yourself, that you're on the path path of growth, and that you basically needed a hand from some of these folks, and that yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But yeah, that's the very least we can do, right? Um, to our artists and show them some love and some respect and so yeah i think that goes a long way huh huh anyway friends double toe line it will work with scrap hook as well i think he looks beautiful beautiful love the little spurs love how the backpack works and uh oh maybe i should put this up maybe that's better huh i think that that is better and this kind of like hugs the back and so that's not too hateful I like how these little um, hook things over here are kind of like wing-like, even though they're not perfectly aligned because of the, the placement of the peg. But he's cool. He's cool. And I love the Scooby-Doo theme. Yeah. All right, my friends. I appreciate you watching, listening to this quasi-rant. And um, I hope you have enjoyed this build. And uh, if you make them at home, have fun and be creative. Okay? Adios. Bye-bye.